friends, we are here with Miss Mary making her famous cinnamon rolls that she's always making for the family. So here are the ingredients. Miss Mary, come on over and help me. We've got right here. Four cups of um, flour, mm -hmm. flour. And then here. Half a cup of sugar. Uh, third cup of melted butter. Okay. That's a half a cup of flour in reserve. Mm -hmm. And then we've got yeast, two room temperature eggs, and a, because we're using salted butter, we did a half uh, mm -hmm. teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have sal salted butter, use a teaspoon okay. of salt. And then this is? One cup of warmed buttermilk. Warm buttermilk. And then the yeast that we're using is our rapid rise instant yeast. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So then what is the first process? So what we'll do is we'll bloom the yeast. So okay. we'll take um, the yeast and put it into uh, mm -hmm. do we need to mix it yeah okay can it. I use this or yes. no even though it. it has a little flour yeah, it's fine. okay oh okay that's nice and warm yeah so it's nice and warm and that'll you don't want it too hot so if you use the baby mm -hmm. temperature method okay on your making formula you just use the inside of your wrist if okay it, so Oop. go ahead and leave that in there so that'll okay. just bloom Oop. Right. So, scrape and that. you'll okay. be able to smell it. Or, yeah, I can smell it. Okay, and then how long is that going to sit for? Um, just about five minutes. Five minutes, okay. And then we have salt here, and then what are we going to do here? In the, meantime, in the meantime. So in the meantime, pour the sugar and the salt in. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the salt. The salt. Mm. Okay. And then just whisk it. Whisk it. All right, it's been a few minutes. The buttermilk is ready. Now we're going to, go ahead, Miss Mary. We're gonna pour everything in. So everything into the bowl, mm -hmm. okay. So I just, just. Use that one? Yeah, I'll pour this in. Mm-hmm, the buttermilk. Yeah. Make sure all the yeast out. Okay, buttermilk is important. Okay, we got the buttermilk into the flour. And Got the warm melted butter. And then we have two eggs. Room temperature. Room temperature. And then you just mix it. Okay, Miss Mary's going to go ahead and mix it. Okay, so she has been mixing this for a few minutes. So a little bit more until it forms together, she said. Miss Mary washed her hands, floured her hands, and now she's going to knead it for how long? Five minutes. Five minutes. And then you'll throw it in a bowl. Now, if you have an electric mixer like a KitchenAid, mm -hmm. you can knead it with the kneading hook for how long? Um, five minutes. About five minutes? Okay. Yes. And you'll know. But I just don't like to. Get and that's what the reserve flour is for, it's like so it won't stick. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. It's been about what two and a half minutes. Yeah. Look at that. It's a workout. It's no longer sticking to the mat. And then look at this. See the texture? It's mm -hmm. changed. And it'll get more. And then she said, "When you're mad, that's the best thing." Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then you just imagine your whoever you're mad at. <laughs> just be really angry. <laughs> Super angry. <laughs> See how it bounces back. All right. So she said, when it's close, it bounces back. Okay. Do it again. Nice. Okay. So is it ready or just almost? Just a little bit more. Okay. Then, about a minute more. But you don't want to over knead it. Don't over knead it. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, and now we're gonna let it rise. Yes, so we'll for get for how long? An hour or an hour? or overnight for okay. our case. Okay. So we are using the butter wrapper. The butter wrapper. Degrees mm -hmm. are yep. all right, cool. which is already done. Yep. Okay. okay. And done. then we're gonna put our perfect dough. Okay. Oh look how smooth that is. Look at that. Okay, and then we can 
let it rise for an hour at least, right? Or overnight in our yes. case. Once it doubles in size. Once it doubles in size. Depending on your temperature, because if it's cold like winter, mm -hmm. then you might need, it might need another hour. Okay, so it's just gonna be covered. Yes, okay. keep it warm. All right, baby, we'll see you soon. Okay, as you guys can see, it has more than double in size, okay? So um, we are now going to start rolling it out. It's going to be 20 inches across, mm -hmm. 24 uh, inches uh, in length yes. wide, okay? So we're just gonna, we have a clean mat and then a clean surface. We're gonna lightly flower it and then we're just gonna roll it out. Okay, no need to knead it anymore, just a straight roll out. We're going to combine these three first. So um, take the fork. Okay. Mm -hmm. Smash it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is and throw the cinnamon in first. Should I put the cinnamon here? No, no, just put it in here. Oh, here? Yeah. Okay. Just all of it. And then... Is it best sometimes to use like dark brown sugar or no? Um, I use a really dark brown sugar, mm -hmm. but I buy it at the Asian store because oh. I use it for my carby. Oh, okay. Because it's a... Okay, so once it's creamy... Like a cinnamon butter. Okay, cinnamon butter. Oh, I've never made it like that. Yeah. Although I've only made cinnamon rolls a few times. Okay. And then mix this in there? Mm -hmm. so throw that in. Okay. Okay, sugar, brown, um, brown sugar... Butter cinnamon. cinnamon roll mixture. It's all well combined. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. Sprinkle flour onto a clean mat. Okay. I shape it already, and you don't need to uh, knead it. No, no. Mm. Okay. Just so I can roll it out. Oh wow. You have to make it into a. Oh. Yeah, see? Look at that. Now it's a rectangle. It's 24 inches long mm -hmm. and then about 20 inches wide. Wide? Okay. Yeah. I mean, and try and make it as even as possible. Oops. You can manipulate the dough. So. And then you can go ahead and spread the, the cinnamon brown sugar butter mixture. Yeah. And then I usually just kind of leave the edge so I have like when I roll it, mm -hmm. so that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it works so much better using a butter knife. To spread it. Mm hmm Because it sticks to the dough and then it evenly spreads out like that. Yeah. I just want it big, even. Because it's going to cook and, and then try and leave, like, like I said, a, a lip so that when you roll towards that. Okay. Once it has the sugar mixture, put it into a dish that has been buttered. Okay. This is our cinnamon pan. <laughs> All right, Miss Mary, go ahead. And because I have that, see, oh, super easy. Yeah. Okay. And then this part is the seam, so I go along and I just pinch it. Yes. Normally I use floss, unflavored. Okay, unflavored floss. We don't have any. We have mint, so she's going to use a butter knife. Yes, because you don't want to cut oh, yeah. on, your, on your mat. Okay. Nice clean cuts. Right. Okay. Ready? Oh. Three. Actually, that was weird. Why don't you flip it over? So you get, there we go. That one. Okay. There, Miss Mary. Okay. Nice. Okay. So now we'll cover it with saran wrap and let it rise. Let it rise for another hour? Until it doubles in size. Until, again, it doubles in size. So now we're going to get heavy cream, about half a cup, and then we're going to drizzle 
inside and then bake it for how long miss mary 20 minutes 20 minutes so we're gonna do this for all the cinnamon rolls okay 350 20 to 25 minutes so we'll start off with 20 okay and then in the bowl we have six ounces of cream cheese softened in one third cup of, cup of butter one third cup of butter mm -hmm. and softened cream cheese yeah we're just creaming it together and then we're going to add two cups of powdered sugar okay, okay. and then a teaspoon a tablespoon of vanilla along with the two cups of powdered sugar powdered sugar and we were just going to mix it well all right so here it is i actually left it there um for another five minutes so it cooked for 25 minutes 350 degrees i have the icing in here with the icing you're just going to put in half of um oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use a butter knife because it is still soft and you don't want just a clump of it but you do want to put it inside the top of the okay then you're going to just spread it all around Depending on how sweet you want it is how much icing that you're going to put on it. Do not put all of the icing because it is <laughs> extremely sweet. Very delicious. Kids love this. Miss Mary makes this for the family. And it is a great breakfast or dessert it's her famous recipe when I say famous it means that it's just it's very good she taught the girls how to do this how to make it just in case when we're older we become senile we forget the recipe then the next generation can go ahead and make it for us Okay. All right, friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe of Miss Mary's famous cinnamon rolls.